Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got our hands on issue number 52 and we're going to start making the Mr. Jeremy Fisher applique character square. I'm looking forward to this one. He's one of my favourite characters and although he looks a bit tricky, I'm ready to give him a go. In issue number 52, you'll receive a piece of Bonderweb, the blue gingham backing fabric, which I'm going to be using, and all of our fabrics to make Mr. Jeremy Fisher. We've got the emerald, the light grey, biscuit, blush, white, and a teeny piece of the silver mink. But before I get going, here's a little bit about Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Our first step is to access template number one at the back of the magazine. I'm going to trace out all of these pieces and number them onto the shiny side of our bonder web. So I've traced out all of the template pieces for Jeremy Fisher. There's a lot of them and they're quite large, tiny, irregular and it looks really tricky but I'm going to cut them out now very carefully. So I've cut out all of our Bonderweb template pieces and I'm about to press them onto our designated fabrics. I've also traced out all of the areas that need to be embroidered. As I'm not going to embroider them, I'm going to applique them on, but I'm going to set this aside until I've completed this step first. I'm going to start pressing on the Bonderweb, starting with our emerald and working across. All of the Bonderweb template pieces have been cut out and pressed onto the fabrics. I'm now going to cut them out really carefully. All of 
of our pieces have been cut out and I'm about to place them down onto the backing fabric like one big puzzle. I'm going to be removing the backing of the fabric before I place them down. I'm also going to use this picture here as a guide. So all of our pieces have been pressed down. This was very difficult. I was nearly going to have a Mrs. Tiggy Winkle moment where I was going to scrap the whole thing and do my own thing. But what I've done is I've pressed down the lily pad and the lily on the opposite side because I wanted to accommodate the dragonfly which I've been keeping for Mr. Jeremy Fisher. I'm now going to give it a final press and then show you what I've done. And here we have stage one of our Mr. Jeremy Fisher applique character square. I did deviate a little bit. I did applique this on to the other side because I wanted to make room for the dragonfly. I think the dragonfly colours work in beautifully with the colours in this applique. Next time I'm going to add all of the other details that are meant to be embroidered in with applique. I'm also going to stitch around all of his areas and add his finer details in. I hope you enjoyed and had success starting to make your Mr. Jeremy Fisher applique square. Please don't forget to like and subscribe please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.